Hi, this is Dr. Mark Hyman. Why you should avoid dairy. Got milk? Well, these days, it seems like almost everybody does. Celebrities, athletes, even former President Clinton's head of Health and Human Services, Donna Shalala, are all proud to wear the white milk mustache. After all, everybody knows that you need milk to be healthy, right? Not necessarily. Sure, dairy is nature's perfect food, but only if you're a calf. If that sounds shocking to you, it's because very few people are willing to tell the truth about dairy. In fact, criticizing milk in America is like taking on motherhood, apple pie, or baseball. But that's just what I'm about to do. Based on the research and my experience in practicing medicine, I typically advise most of my patients to avoid dairy products completely. I like ice cream just as much as the next person. But as a scientist, I have to look honestly at what we know. Some of the recommendations are downright harmful, like the one to drink more milk and dairy products. According to Dr. Walter Willett, who has done many of the studies and reviewed this topic, Dr. Walter Willett, the second most cited scientist in all of clinical medicine and the head of nutrition at Harvard School of Public Health, there are many reasons to pass up milk. Dairy is linked to prostate cancer. Research shows that higher intakes of both calcium and dairy products may increase a man's risk of prostate cancer by 30 to 50%. Plus, dairy consumption increases the body's level of insulin-like growth factor 1, a known cancer promoter. Based on such findings, Dr. Walter Willett has come to some important conclusions. Dairy may be unhealthy. Advocating dairy consumption may have negative effects on health. Now, this is from Dr. Walter Willett, not me, so you should think about your next glass of milk. Plus, the dairy may contribute to even more health problems like allergies, sinus issues, ear infections, type 1 diabetes, chronic constipation, and anemia in children. But what about raw milk? Well, isn't that a healthier form of dairy? Well, not really. Yes, raw, whole, organic milk eliminates some of the concerns like pesticides, hormones, antibiotics, and the effects of homogenization and pasteurization. But to me, these benefits don't outweigh dairy's potential risk. From an evolutionary point of view, milk is a strange food for humans. Until 10,000 years ago, we didn't domesticate animals, and we weren't able to drink milk unless some brave hunter-gatherer milked a wild tiger or a buffalo. Now, most scientists agree that it's better for us to get calcium, potassium, protein, and fats from other sources, like whole plant foods, vegetables, fruits, beans, whole grains, nuts and seeds, and seaweed. Great source of minerals. Convinced yet? Well, here's my advice for dealing with dairy. If you want healthy bones, take vitamin D. Don't rely on dairy. Get your calcium from dark green leafy vegetables, sesame tahini, sea vegetables, or sardines, or salmon with the bones in it. And try giving up all dairy, everything, and see how you feel after a few weeks. And if you can tolerate dairy, use only raw organic dairy products, preferably fermented products like yogurt or kefir. Still got milk? I hope not. Remember, dairy is not crucial for good health. I encourage you to go dairy-free and see what it does for you.